Introduction Amma was new to the village. She saw her granny drawing water from the well. She was curious to know more about the wells. So, she inquires her grandmother. This is what her grandmother explains. In this lesson, you will learn about sources of water, its different forms in nature and understand the water cycle. Objectives At the end of this lesson, you will be able to Know the sources of water Know that water exists in different forms in nature Understand the water cycle Water Water is essential for the survival of all living things. Plants, animals and human beings need water. The Earth is the only planet where water exists. Water comes from the sky as rain and fills up oceans, seas, lakes and ponds. It is also found deep under the ground. Sea water is very salty, so it is not fit for drinking. In villages, people dig wells to draw the underground water. In cities, water reaches our houses through underground pipes. Uses of water We use water for drinking, bathing, cleaning, washing, watering the plants and cooking. We also use it to irrigate crops and lawns, to clean streets and to operate air conditioning units and heating systems. Different forms of water Water has no shape, taste or colour. It takes the shape of the vessel in which it is kept. When we heat the ice cubes, it will slowly melt and turn into water. When we heat this water, it first starts boiling and then changes into steam. This steam is called water vapour. When we cool these water vapours, these will change back into water. Ice, water and water vapour are the three forms of water. Ice is the solid form, water is the liquid form and vapour is the gaseous form. Water changes from one form to another when we heat or cool it. Water cycle Water from the seas and oceans is heated by the sun's rays which causes it to change into a gas and rise into the air. This is called evaporation. Once high up in the sky, the gas begins to cool and turns back into a liquid. This process is called condensation. The water droplets form clouds which become heavy and fall from the sky in the form of rain. This is called precipitation. This cycle never stops. Summary Let us summarize what we have learned. Water is important for all living things. There are three forms of water, ice, water and water vapour. We use water for drinking, bathing, cleaning, cooking and irrigating the crops. The natural cycle of water in which it changes from one form to another is called water cycle. For more such videos on all subjects, practice questions and a lot more. Download iPrep and learn unlimited.